everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name's Amy and this is Dino Budgets and today we are going to be talking about savings challenges yes everybody's favorite savings challenges I'm going to be talking about what I'm planning on doing for 2022 and a new kind of savings challenge slash goal that I've given myself that I have not really seen anything kind of like this out there so I will share it with you guys and see what you think of it but before we do let's see what t-rex is trying today and remember guys no matter what kind of day you're having at least you're not a t-rex trying to teach his dog to shake <laughs> oh my goodness look at the facial expression on that dog He's kind of scared right now. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. I have here my handy dandy notebook and we are going to talk savings challenges. I've got a few different ones that I'm planning on doing for the year of 2022. And I am going to talk about what they are and how I plan on funding them. And so first things first, I am gonna talk about some of just like my normal regular ones that I'm going to keep going and what we are going to call these are these are going to be the savings challenges that I am budgeting for. So these are ones that I will actually work into my budget and set aside money for being very diligent about them. Um, I am finding that with my budget because it is kind of a tighter budget that I can't just rely on rollover money in order to fund my savings challenges. Some of them I do need to actually budget for in order to make them happen. And so this year we are going to be doing the 100 envelope challenge. I am going to make that a priority for myself. And my 100 envelope challenge is just a little bit different. I am doing larger amounts on my envelopes. I have so many of them that are $20 each, so many that are $50 each, and so many that are $100 each. So once my 100 envelope challenge is completed, it is almost 500, or 500. <laughs> I wish, 500,000, that'd be amazing. No, it's almost $5,000, um, just shy a little bit. And so that one I will be having to budget for. And then we have special event type ones. So I have a Valentine's that I have already started and I will continue doing that one. We have a Valentine's Day challenge slash birthday challenges to save up for birthday parties. And then any other... Um, I do have a luxury challenge that will probably be budgeted in when I can. It won't be a high priority one, but it'll be a goal. And then any other like little monthly type ones that some Etsy shops are doing or other channels are posting, I will try and do at least one of those a month. And I am going to try and save those up for either like three to six months or even an entire year if possible and then see how much I have saved in, in that amount of time just from those. And then my other ones are gonna kinda be like my a variable other style. They're like non-budgeted. And so let's go ahead and see what those are gonna be for this year. All right, so something I have been doing and will continue to do because it has added up quite nicely for me and it's not something I have to budget for is the zero out challenge. Now, if you guys have not done the zero out challenge before, it is super simple. I'm going to give you an example here. So say for example, um, we have your normal checking account or whichever account you have your paychecks go into and you have your savings account. All right, so say you get paid and your total was $565.49 was your pay that got deposited 
So what you're gonna do is you're going to round out the last three digits. So for this example, you are going to be subtracting $5.49 and transferring that over to your savings account. Um, 49, not 94. <laughs> leaving you with a balance of $560 to be able to budget with from your checking. And let's go ahead and rewrite this because it's a little messy over here. And automatically, you've already got $5.49 put in your savings account. So this can range anywhere from one penny all the way up to $9.99. Now, if for some reason you get an exact even amount deposited from your paycheck, that is up to you on how much you want to transfer over. You can do anywhere from $1 to $10 if you would like, but you don't have to. This is mainly used to round out if you have change. And so I have been doing this, I get paid bi-monthly, or I'm sorry, not bi-monthly, bi-weekly, so twice a month. And so I will transfer at least twice a month over into here. And then if I use my debit card for anything or a bill comes out of my checking account, I will usually pop back in again and round it again and transfer more over to savings. So I'm transferring anywhere from two to four or five times a month. And I'm usually saving anywhere from like 15 to $20 or more, just depending on how the numbers fall and it's just a real easy way to kind of move some money aside that you don't even have to think about and it just starts accumulating for you so that challenge has been working very well for me i'm going to continue doing it i may even zero out what i already have in that account and start fresh in the new year or i'll just continue from where i'm at already and then another one is going to be obviously my change. That is a given, it is super easy. Just from your variable spending for the week or bi-weekly, taking your change, putting it in a jar, it's just kind of a no-brainer, it adds up, and it's something you don't even have to think about or budget for, it's just when the change is there, you throw it in a jar and then you can choose yourself if you want to cash it out once a month or every six months or wait an entire year and see how much change you saved. Now, a couple of other random ones that are kind of just there and I don't have to think about them is uh, cash back from a credit card. I do use a credit card in my budgeting. I use it for every, you know, my monthly expenses and then I do use it around Christmas time. But again, I already have the money put into my Christmas envelope before I start spending it. So I know the money's there to pay my credit card bill. And then besides that, I'm just using it on a normal monthly expenses or expenses that I already have money set aside for. So the cash back, while it may not be a lot, is still free money that I'm getting back. So this coming year, I am going to track that to see how much that adds up to, because I'm curious. And then another one is cash back from Ibotta. That is a grocery app. I don't use it a ton, just because I find that myself, I end up buying groceries just because they have a cash rebate on them and they may not necessarily be something I need or fits within my dietary style. So I usually try to use this app only if there is something specific that I know I need or something that fits into my specific dietary style and I will get the cash back from that. If you have not checked out the app, I will post my referral code down below with a link and that can get you started to looking into that app. Now my final one guys, I am super excited about and this is the new one that I am challenging myself to, and I would challenge anybody else who is interested, but I am calling this the 10% challenge. A lot of people will just like use their budget by whole percentages, like, okay, I want so much going to savings, so much going to bills, so much going to spending. Now, what I am calling my 10% challenge applies only to my variable spending. So this is the money that I have in my wallet. 
So I've done up a little example here of what some variable spending could be for me for a two week period. And so what we do is I have in my wallet, I keep grocery money, household money, gas money, eat out, car wash money, and coffee money. I do also keep tips, but I am not including tips in this because I do not believe I need to be shorting my tips just because I wanna save money. I still wanna give people um, good, generous tips. And so I am going to write my budget as normal and then when I go to stuff my envelopes, I am automatically going to take 10% from each of these. So for example, with this layout that I have, if this were my budget for the next two weeks, I'd automatically be taking $10 from groceries, a dollar from my household, $10 from gas, $6 from eating out, $2 from car washes, and a dollar from coffee. And this should add up to 30, if I did my math correctly. So we have 10, 20, 21, 27, 29, and 30. So automatically, guys, before I've even started spending or using my variable money for the next two weeks, I have put aside $30, okay? So I am gonna put that in a completely separate envelope and then that will be, I'll kind of keep track on what my 10% challenge is and how that is adding up. But then after my two weeks, if there is anything left over in here that would be considered rollover money, that will be able to be rolled over into my savings challenge envelope that can go towards these. So not only will I be budgeting for these, but there may be extra rollover that could go towards them as well. So I'm hoping that this challenge can maybe push you guys out there to really focus on your spending as well. I know that sometimes I, I budget more than what I really need, but I also, if it's in my wallet, I feel like I need to spend it. So by doing it this way, I'm automatically telling myself I don't need to spend $100 in groceries for two weeks. I need to push myself to only spend $90 for that two weeks and automatically save some. And then on top of that, if I only spend 80, hey, there's another $10 there that'll get rolled over as well. So I'm kind of trying to jumpstart my savings before even spending along with budgeting some savings. So I'm kind of doing it both ways along with a few things like the cash back on the credit card and the change that are kind of just automatically happen type items. And I'm trying to set myself up for success in all areas of my budget. So I hope this is helpful to you guys. If you would like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the notification um, bell next to subscribe. That way you know when I upload a new video. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this 10% challenge and let me know what other challenges you guys are planning on doing in 2022. I would love to connect with you and find out more. I hope you guys have an amazing night and until next time, bye.